Hello and welcome back to Hi-Fi Lo-Fi and a batch of new goodies has arrived. Interesting. So I uh, <laughs> I have to laugh because I did not order these two items, but it looks like I've got some freebies thrown in. You remember in a past video recently they threw in some tissues, some little packs of tissues, and this time they've thrown in some instant coffee. What is that? Oh, sorry, that's my tea. No, I, I take that, that's not coffee, that says milk tea. <laughs> so they've thrown in what the, uh, what the locals call milk tea, uh, powdered milk tea. Interesting. And what's this one? Hoji cha. Yeah, it's, um, it's, well, it, it's brown tea, it's like partly roasted tea. Um, Latte, hoji cha latte, interesting. Well, it's uh, a rather unique Japanese thing. You wouldn't, uh, if, you, if, you, if you're outside Japan, I'm afraid you have no idea what that is, what it tastes like. Not my cup of tea, I have to say. Gosh, this is like receiving a present. I mean, I've bought this, I've paid for this. So uh, look at this, daily goods and special. Interesting, bit of English there. Oh, look at this. So yeah, I was really looking forward to something special and I've ordered this, I ordered this very recently on Yahoo Auction. It's come very quickly actually. Um, now I've never, owned i don't remember owning this type of cassette before this particular model i had a look through my collection of old cassettes which has seriously diminished over the years and um, in fact I'll, I'll do a video and show you what cassette tapes i've got left from my heyday of uh, cassette tape collecting and recording but um, this one i did pay well, I, I, I paid a little bit uh, over the well, I don't know over the odds. I put some, I put a message out on uh, a Facebook group. I mean, and some people seem to think that it was overpriced. However, I have seen them going for as much as five thousand yen each on Yahoo Auction. I did not pay that. I paid around two just over 2000 yen when the um if you include the postage fee i paid about uh yeah i forget what it was now just i paid it just a little bit more than 2000 yen so i looked up on the website which i've linked in a previous video i'll try to remember to link it below here and the ma series is an ma and then these last two letters vary according to the variation the version of which ma tdk ma you've got and they didn't only do a 90 minute by the way there were other tape lengths yes very uh, interesting i'm not going to unwrap it here and now and the reason is that I've decided that I'll only unwrap it when I come to use it or if I get more than one. So as I've only got one of these at the moment and I'm not about to use it, I'm not going to unwrap it for now. Oh, look at this, this looks like a beauty. Well, at least this one's got bubble wrapped to give it a bit of extra protection. And um, yeah, the, the previous tape um, 
thanks for throwing in the freebies, whoever you are, forget who you are, but uh, I'd have rather had bubble wrap on it. Metal UD, so we've got a Maxell 74 minute metal UD for CD, so we're in the CD era. I seem to remember this was a late 90s model. Looks nice actually, I like it. It certainly looks um, stylish, the wrapper that is. It's certainly got a, a premium look to this cassette wrapper with the gold and the black. I think that's almost sort of a professional looking, isn't it? But don't know much about this, but of course UD, the UD, the whole UD series that, that crops up a lot on Maxell tapes. You see the UD code quite a lot. Yeah, pause your Pause your screen now if that interests you. So another metal. What did I pay for it? Um, I paid a lot less than I paid for this. So this was, as I said, just over 2,000 yen. This, I think I paid a 1,000 yen, I think. I think that's what I paid for it. Which I thought was pretty good because Certainly, getting a metal tape below, well, certainly around the thousand yen mark is difficult. It's getting more and more difficult. <laughs> what lovelies have we got in here? Okay. Okay, my lovelies, I've set you free. So we've got three Sony's, they're all the same. High position, type two, stamina. Now the stamina series generally seem to go for more money. They'd certainly have this premium look with the gold wrapper. This barcode, unfortunately, is not, of course, Sony's been added probably by a retailer where these were bought from. So unfortunately, it's hiding some of the uh, information on the wrapper. That's slightly annoying. But I certainly like the look. And of course, you probably know, if you, if you don't know, the ES series is Sony's premium series. It's a, a higher grade series, and it's not only on cassette tapes. It's It was used right across a whole range of audio products, such as amps, mini disc decks, cassette decks, CD players, etc. And uh, I should just say, by the way, because I've got my hands right in front of the camera, and you might be wondering, I, I know I've got questions about this and uh, why my nails are long and that's because I play the guitar and I actually play the guitar without a pick and I use my nails to pluck the strings so they're short on this hand and longer on this hand because I'm right handed or I play the guitar right handed anyway so uh, yeah this hand my nails are short and this hand my nails are a little bit long for playing the guitar just thought I'd tell you that in case you're wondering why my nails are long and I haven't cut them is because generally I don't cut them short on this hand. So back to the tapes. Yeah, there we are. Have a good look at that. They've got the uh, the old. I don't think Sony uses this anymore. If it does, I'm not sure. But uh, I like the hologram effect or the the way the colour changes as you tilt it in the light on the Sony logo there which is I remember that logo in the 80s I definitely saw it in the 80s not sure when it was introduced 
but yeah, interesting that. I think they look really nice actually. I mean, the wrappers alone look fantastic, don't they? They look really beautiful. Right, that'll be some information with my private details on. Wow, what have we got here? Gosh, this is exciting. Get that out of the way. Look at all this metal, fantastic. So I've got a whole bunch of Sony metal. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, wow. Fantastic. So I showed you this model of cassette tape in a previous video recently, maybe even the last video, and I didn't unwrap it, but now I've got six more. So that makes a total of seven. So let's have a look at one inside. Well, this has got that annoying wrap that only takes the end off. But, uh, there we are, I've okay, got that. Right. Let's look at the inlay card. So it's a fold out one. Glossy paper, which has I've mentioned before is pretty difficult to write on with certain pens and pencils. Sticky labels inside. Cut away, cut away here. Um, smooth, premium feeling. Yeah, that's the case. Feels okay. And uh, I think you can see on the video, it's uh, sort of tinted or smoked or whatever word you want to use. There we are, there is the shell. I have no idea what these are like to use, never used one before. I never saw one back in Britain when I was a, a young cassette tape user. Uh, I would say my cassette tape days were the 80s and 90s. I did in fact get some cassette tapes, start using them probably, um, yeah, probably around 19, 81 I think I started using cassette tapes. Something feels a bit different about this. I'm not sure what it is. It definitely feels a bit different. I think it's because I know why this feels different. It feels like it's got an additional like layer of plastic on it, but I don't think it has. I don't know what that is. Certainly this part feels a bit different. I don't know what to say about it because I haven't used it, but I'm going to try using it and see how it uh, sounds. Somebody commented on a video I did recently about how to tell whether a tape is true chrome as opposed to some kind of coating or dipped thing. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember how it was described in the comment. And what the guy said was, uh, uh, these are metal, of course, these are not chrome. But what he said was, oh, these, are, these are chrome. He said that you can tell by the smell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video and I'm going to sniff tapes to 
see how they smell and whether I can tell what's a true chrome and what isn't. So look forward to that in the next video. This has been Hi-Fi Lo-Fi.